Hi everybody, this is Lisa from Canine Clips and this is Dexter. And um, Dexter, I've already started the process of trimming his face here. Um, but as I got to his ears, I noticed um, he's got an infection. So I just thought I'd share that with you, uh, what an infection looks like in a dog. Um, so there's kind of a close up there. You can kind of see that they're a little bit inflamed and a little bit red. They got a little bit of bumps on there. Um, but it's not too serious, but you can see there's a lot of wax sticking to that hair. And that's what happens when you get lots of hair in the ears, uh, when the wax comes. So if they got a little bit of a cold or they're not feeling good, or sometimes just when they get older in age, um, their wax kind of gets a little bit more runny. And when they have hair in there, it has something to stick to. And that's what makes it all gunky in there. So what I'm going to do is... Um, take that hair out just by using tweezers you see and you can uh, see it's a little bit uncomfortable for him but there is really lots of build up in there and it does have a not a pleasant smell to it either so yeah so you can see it's quite yellow and thick and it is actually moist the 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 hair because there's lots of uh, wax sticking to there. So it is important to keep your dog's ear drum nice and dry. So when I do this, I'll kind of uh, pluck out the hair so then the wax has nothing to stick to so that when they're shaking their ears, um, that wax can actually come out. And, now, and because um, there's been a buildup of wax in there already, the ear might be a little bit more sensitive because it's been moist in there for so long. So you really got to be careful when you're and making sure you're plucking inside the eardrum. You're not pulling on the skin at all because it already will be a little bit more sensitive than normal. So that's why I'm slowing down a little bit. And I think I've got the majority of it. So then what I do is I get some good old Q-tips and you just kind of go very slowly in there because you don't want to push anything down into the eardrum and you can see it's quite yellow and I just put it in once. I don't use the same side again. And then I'll kind of come up to the top here where it may be sitting. You can see it's quite quite yellow as well and I'll just keep going until the the q-tip is a little bit doesn't come out as wet so there you can already see it's already got the bulk of it out no oh, I spoke too soon that was kind of in the top of the ear sitting in there so again I'm not pushing down too deep I'm just kind of getting it so I can get some of it out because we want the dog to be able to do that. We don't want to be digging in there to cause any irritation. Um, and then what I'll do once I've done that is I'll put some a good amount of ear solution in there and loosen it all up. And that's why I kind of start with the face, feet and bum and then the ears because then it gives it time to sit in there. They'll do a lot of shaking. I'll be ba bathing them as well. And then after I'm done the bath, I'll actually come back again with the Q-tips to get anything that he's shake, shooken out, right? So, because it may loosen some stuff. So it's good to get them rubbed in there. Um, and let them shake it out. And that's going to be normal for the next uh, few hours, actually. He'll be shaking his ears. And then after the bath, uh, you know, I'll kind of use the Q-tips to see if there's anything else has loosened. And then I'll come back... Um, with the solution and then um, let them shake it out again. So um, then it kind of gives them a few processes to clean those ears out. Um, another good thing to do is actually um, trim these ears up because the heavier the ears are, then um, then it's easier for the, him, uh, or harder for him to let his ears breathe when he's shaking in his ears. So, you know, that will, and so the redness will go down. So because we've been in there, it got a little bit more red. Um, but it actually will go down in the next hour or two as well. And then his ears should be feeling a lot better as well. So, so hopefully that video helped you. And please comment or give me a question if you have any questions at all. I'd love to 
how to answer those for you or show you another video on what you're interested in. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. And um, hope you're having a great day.